Did you get the cheap seats? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ron, I want to loan you my mom, uh, my grandmother's opera glasses. Okay, so take good care of them. Ron, are, are you going to be, is this going to be your attire for this evening? I'm doing a, a wardrobe change before tonight. Do you, or do I like this? Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Barry, I came over yesterday, and Barry was like, I have this outfit on, and he's like, ooh, you should wear that tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, I don't wear the opera, but I will wear it. And I, what's funny is I don't actually have a sparkly black dress. Ben, but, I'm gonna, but I have a sparkly black dress. While we're talking, let's get Satya. Yeah, let's do Satya. I might make one, actually. I do have some really great material that I can whip up a dress. So I might, I might make one. Okay. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I make a dress before I come here. It's been a while since I've done that. But. That's a very important skill. <laughs> so we're going to do a song uh, by Eric Satie. And I, I think everybody knows the rules. Uh, Eric Satie 
he, he wanted to just play uh, ambient music and, uh, and, and be in a corner and not have anybody applaud or paying much attention. So we, we asked that after we finish this song that you do not applaud. And there's another little Eric Satie story uh, where he, uh, WC uh, wanted the, uh, the Paris Symphony to arrange his music and perform it. So WC goes into the uh, Paris Symphony. Uh, they have a meeting with the conductor, and Satie's there, and, and WC's there, and the conductor looks at Satie and says, well, sit down at the piano and play your music. And Satie couldn't play it. He couldn't remember. He, 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 was, he was out of his depth. And so WC uh, sat down and played the music for, them, for him, and the conductor loved it, and they arranged it, and they did a performance. And that's kind of how I feel at the Virginia Opera. <laughs> <laughs>
no applause, no applause. Victor, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Yeah. Victor, my uh, let's do Hoorah the Sun. Uh, we're going to do Hoorah the Sun. Okay. Victor, my test for a great improviser is if they can, if, if they don't need changes to improvise on top of it, and they still make it interesting.
Welcome, Ina. Welcome to the island of misfit toys. <laughs> Let's do uh let's do two tango. Two tango. solo in A and A part. Well, Victor, you can solo anytime you want. <laughs> Thank you. 
ginger fan. Look how many staves I've broken on it. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> that adventure. I need to get a new one. Yeah. Still have a little crack left in it. Let's see, uh, let's do Yemi Yah. Yemi Yah. This is a song I wrote when, uh, when we had twins. And I was completely overwhelmed. And uh, Yemi Yah is an Orisha, and one of the, one of the uh, many things that she watches over are twins. So I built a shrine to Yemi Yah, and I wrote a song for Yemi Yah.
All right, where to from here? Ina, what do you think, like, it, it, in 10 minutes you come up? Does that sound good? Okay. Okay. Yay. Yay. In Tom Robbins' book, Still Life with Woodpecker, yuck and yum were, were things, but yay was not. I would like to vote that yay be added to the pantheon of three-letter words. <laughs> yay. 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 Yes, yay. Um, no. Today. We, we did, I did sati because I knew we had to do a French tune for you. Yeah, I knew we had to do one French tune oh, I'm for sorry. you. Francophile. How about Chinese go-go? Huh? Chinese go-go. This is a song I wrote for Chinese New Year. And there's an ongoing discussion about whether it's racist or not. But, um, <laughs> I don't think it's culturally insensitive. You know, actually the... Tell us a story, Barry. Just a brief story. <laughs> I, there, there, are these, uh, there are these websites where they... Oh, look, Cassia is here. Hi, Cassia. Hi. There are Yay. these websites where uh, they have bad translations of Chinese and English, right? And so an Asian friend of mine gave, hooked me up with a website and I just started to cut and paste it, and that's how I came up with the lyrics to this song. It's, it's cut and pasted from a, uh, a website of bad translations from Chinese to English, and I thought, an Asian friend told me to do it. It could, could only be, be but so stereotypical and racist, and then I realized, oh yeah, she's Japanese. <laughs> so, so here we go. The world is very complicated. Wait. <laughs> we do the best we can. I love the music of this song, though. That's my favorite part.
fact is the whole world is going to a Chinese go-go. That's actually pretty true. I was going to say I'd like to go, but I guess we're already here. But see, I, people have asked me to make announcements today. So instead of doing them all at once, they haven't. Like Carter hasn't. Carter asked me to make no announcements. Go ahead, Barry, go ahead. Oh, I, I, found, I actually found this in my pocket. You know, these are my notes for playing at the opera. It says, it says, follow Adam, look at Adam, play slow and lazy. That's, that was his coaching. That's Adam's coaching right there. You do play fast when you're thinking too hard. True. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. What do you got? Bill's going to cut in line. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not your turn yet, Bill. <laughs> okay, give me a second. He's going to give an announcement, and then you okay. can have an announcement. Okay. Is that for me? Thank you. You're giving her a potted plant? Oh, uh, not a... I didn't mean a potted plant. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take one of those too. I should open it now? Okay. Thank you. And well, you want to you want to use a microphone? Okay, well let's go ahead and do, here's Bill Bill's weekly <laughs> weekly announcements. Yay! I've got to. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I'm leaving with uh, the family 28. Did my brother take me up to see my family and take every day? And he got a card and a kindness to for for. On Christmas Day. I was going to say thank you. I come here. I would just say happy Thanksgiving. Happy season. Enjoy. If we go off to town, make Christmas and happy Thanksgiving Day. I love you guys. I love you. I'll be so long. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. This is really Thanks, cute. Bill. It's really cute. Thank you. It says, why, why do I tolerate this? Oh, yeah, free food, warm bed, catnip. Count your blessings and have a happy Thanksgiving. Well, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Love you too, Bill. You're a sweetheart. Can we get out that new Victor Horror song while I'm making this announcement? Do you have it? It's uh, Show, Show Carter. It's that one. I gave it to you all last week. Okay. Okay, can you find that while we do it? Okay, so uh, there's been, a, for me, there's been a lot of coincidences in my life around this opera. Uh, one of them is that my wife found a cat, and she named it Matilda, <laughs> which is Pablo. Matilda's sitting right out there, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, Matilda is Pablo's wife. Another one is that while preparing, <laughs> while preparing for the opera, things broke out in Chile, on the streets of Chile, and uh, and then uh, Barb Adams is bringing a Chilean musician to town tonight to sing. And she does a lot of the old Nuevo Cancion songs, Victor Horror, which we're gonna do a Victor Horror song right now. Uh, but she's also a Sufi, by the way. Here, let me see. And I promised Barb I'd announce this. So we have uh, at the Unitarian Church tonight, Friday, 7 p.m. So if you're not going to the opera, <laughs> You can go see Loretta, and if you want to take uh, if you want to take voice lessons from her, Ina, uh, she's giving voice lessons on Saturday. <laughs> so that was for you, Barb. Okay, so um, there's a there's a I just watched uh, I just watched a Netflix on Victor Hara. And Peter here wrote the article about me and the, the, uh, the opera. And they, they pulled out of the article the headline, communist accordion player play, <laughs> plays an opera. And then I watched the Victor Hara documentary about how they nabbed all the communists and tortured them to death. And I'm thinking, well, maybe my daughter's right. Maybe that wasn't a great idea. I know you didn't choose the headline. And I've, everybody knows I'm fine with communists, but, but what does that mean, you know? So, so we're, this is a work in progress. We're going to do a, a Victor Hara tune. Uh, the funny thing is watching the people out on the streets of Chile, 
they were playing all the songs we play at uh, Breakfast Cabaret, Bella Chow, The People United, and this song by Victor Hara. And the, and the funny thing, not so funny, but it, he actually wrote it for Ho Chi Minh, he wrote it, and the Vietnamese people. <laughs> funny, not funny. So uh, I think at some point we'll have you solo on top of this. And we'll do a whole la la thing. Like a la la. You got a la la? You got a la la? I, I think everybody who can la should la. Okay. Everybody who knows who can la should la. Here's a word. These are si la something. Syllable. 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 Mary was telling me about that. Oh, you're fine. get you up here. What do you think? It's a baby kiss guitar. Welcome, Ina. Everybody give Ina a hand.
Chornay. Is that good? Okay. And um, what Ina said. <laughs> okay, band, we're gonna do it in three. Okay, we'll set up a little. We'll set up the rhythm, and then uh, we're gonna start slow, faster, faster, slower. Oh, faster, and then slow. Something like. Oh, really slow. Okay, bring it home. Do you want? It, but they all have tempo. They're all like gonna have tempo.
talk to Barry and to realize he knows all about Chiburashka and he started singing this song and just this whole thing started because of Chiburashka. So and also, you, there was a, there's a part of this song that we don't do, that apparently if, if, you grew oh, yeah. up, if you grew up as a child in Russia and listened to Cheborashka, there's a, there's a little accordion run that's very important. It is very important. So we're going to try it. You're going to do it? Like, You're gonna do it? Like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So when we come to the end of the song, I... She's letting me know I gotta do that. Accordion. You gotta do it! So, because when I'm singing it, I sing that part. I'm like, doo 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 doo. I'm like, that's your part. <laughs> Finally, I don't have to we'll sing try. it. Okay, so we'll vamp a little on C and then we'll go back in. You can bring us back in the second time. Okay, what kind of tempo do you think? It's a happy, sad song. Like all Russian songs, they're like happy, sad. Sad, happy. Yeah. This is, uh, those were the day, my friends. Those were the days. But it's an old Russian tune uh, by a, written by a romantic poet whose name I have forgotten. Wait, well, how do you pronounce the name of the song? Okay. And there's a, uh, yeah, there's an English verse, a Rush, Russian verse, English verse, and there's actually a French version. Oh, is there? Yes. Do them all. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we got an A part and a B part. I think we'll just go back and forth. The A part is like slow, yeah. and the B part is yeah. faster. This is our first, but, our first rehearsal. It's great. Uh, yes, that's what. Okay. Do, do you know the story of Breakfast Cabaret? Uh, Twyla and I used to rehearse on Friday morning, and we said, well, let's take our rehearsal down to the coffee shop. So it was just her and I and whoever came in for coffee, and now it's this. Right. So Amazing. It is a rehearsal. This is a, this is a big audience participation part. <laughs> yeah. So do you need this?
Thank you, Nina. So come see Nina and I tonight at the opera, or, or on Sunday, or on Sunday. All right, who wants to follow that act? we can uh, let Victor stretch out on. Um, let's do, yeah, Juju B would be good. Let's do Juju B. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll take it around. Hey, man, how you doing? We'll take it around uh, in, in a little while. Okay, because I want to play the Chabarashka song. Okay, and we just called Juju B. Y'all ready for this? Yes. Okay. This is a song I wrote for Carter's band, Hotel X.
out of time. I got another announcement to make, Carter. Oh, go ahead. Hey, please. Uh, many of you know that some people have been working uh, to try to uh, secure nine acres in Chaco Bottom as a, um, a memorial to enslaved Africans. And uh, the powers that be want to do it like maybe an acre and have it kind of pushed over to the side behind the station. But we're working to make it larger, more significant, and a major tourist attraction for Richmond and a place to go and meditate and learn about the history of uh, enslaved Africans. And so there's a, there's been a, uh, there's going to be a symposium on, uh, what's the date? De December the 7th. I I'm going to read a little bit about the symposium. This is a, a Truth and Conciliation in the 400th Year, sponsored by Sacred Ground Historical Reclamation Project and the Virginia Defenders. Uh, the Sacred Ground Historical Reclamation Project of the Virginia Defenders for Freedom, Justice, and Equality will host Truth and Conciliation in the 400th Year, a Shaco Bottom Public History Symposium to be held Saturday, December 7th, 2019 at the Library of Virginia. With panel discussions and cultural presentations, this all-day symposium will examine the history of Africans and people of African descent in Virginia from their earliest days to the present and the vital role that Shaco Bottom has played in that history. And um, one thing that people don't get, I, uh, my dad bought a restaurant in Shaco Bottom in 1969. And um, Shaco Bottom has a long history. And if you go way back, people think, well, they sold the slaves over here and then life went on. Well, no, they, Shaka Bottom is where you got chains. It's where you got whips. It's where you got clothes. It's where you got food. The whole Richmond economy was based in slavery. And then some people think, well, they brought the Africans over uh, and, and sold them on the, 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 the slave blocks. No, they started breeding. They forced bread. So it's a, it's a, it's a history that, that needs to be remembered. It's a history that carries on to this day. And thank you, Phil, for, for all the work you do. Right. What shall we do next? <laughs> you want to show? Twyla has a show and tell. Twyla, many, when Twyla and I first got together, when Twyla and I first got together, she was the belly dancer, I was the accordion player, and we slowly expanded what what she does, luckily now. <laughs> and uh, belly dance is, dance and belly dance is, is, was, is her life. Was her life. I'm gonna say was. And then she had this, we, we had, well, honestly, Twyla was one of the best belly dancers. A absolutely, the best belly dancers. And she may not return to that, to being one of the best belly dancers that could contour. And so, uh, onward. 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 So here, <laughs> yeah. so here she is. Something. She's She made a breakthrough this week in her therapy. Want to yeah. show us? Sure. Well, I was going to say, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I like starting with bad news. Yeah. Well, there's, well, for people who have like been kind of following but not following because you've not been on Facebook where I've been writing about it. Um, so I've been healing. I'm healing from the surgery, and but I'm having some kind of complication, so I can't walk yet. I probably eight weeks ago should have been walking. So I'm going to show you something that's super cool. It's a progress, but um, I can't walk yet. I have some neurological problems. So I'm still healing, and that's why we say maybe was with the belly dance, because we don't really know what my future holds, except for I'll dance in some way, and we'll make art and music. But anyway, it was my hamstring that broke off of me, and it got put back, and this week for the first time, Here we go, here it comes. Wow. Yeah. 
Twyla, Jonathan Austin has nothing on you. <laughs> Magic tricks. The last time, so I did that all by myself for the first time fully yesterday in physical therapy, and it was August 1st was the last time I did that before then. So hopefully I'll be walking soon. Yay! Yes! Still dancing in some way with my face. Maybe, maybe it's time. Let's do, uh, what do you, what do you call him? Oh, Mio? Okay, let's do Oh, Meow. Is Ina okay. still here? Listen, we're, we're going to do, the, we're gonna do the little Southside Opry. Little Southside, to, to offend you opera purists, if there are any here. And, uh, a little Southside Opry. Oh, Meow, that Mio. So Ina, Ina appears to have a really good spirit about her, so I don't think she's going to get mad. <laughs> but wow, how inspiring. Like, I mean, she really made me cry. I, oh, I want to sing like that. I want to learn how. In the meantime, I'll practice what I know.
there's a video of me um, coming out of a log singing that like seven years ago now. <laughs> Barry was like, oh, you're going to sing some songs. Here, I said, you learn I said, this song? I'm like, what? I said, Twyla, you need, you need to start singing because someday you're going to have a major injury. Oh, that's what the, the subtext was. <laughs> and so I say, why don't you, uh, well, she says, well, I'm really insecure about singing. And I said, well, why don't you do one of the most famous opera songs ever written? Ever written? And uh, that should break you. <laughs> um, while we're showing, up, while we're showing off your voice, you know what I'm gonna say, I'm not sure. Oh boy. Okay, Levon Polka. Oh, and we got a hey Bill. Can you can you take around Cheboroshka? Yeah. We'll do, yeah, we'll do, we we'll do a, that? can we do the Marlene Dietrich song in exchange? Okay, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do one of the most popular songs in Finland. Is it for me? Yeah, we're going to Yeah, we're going to This is for Pearl. Yeah. Well, she, and Patty's here too, Pearl's going to move to Finland, I think. Oh my God. Yeah. to you with the Virginia Opera. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. You know, there's strength and weirdness. <laughs> okay, that's our new motto. Strength and weirdness. <laughs> Can't be anything but me. Okay, is, is Bill taking around Cheboroshka? Okay, we're going to do a, a final tune uh, that we are, we're going to do Marlene Dietrich tune. Marlene Dietrich tune. Uh, Marlene Dietrich was uh, walking around the set of the Blue Angel and Frederick Hollander heard her humming this little tune and he made it into a full-fledged tune. And uh, Twyla and I learned it. And, I remember being at your bedside when you couldn't walk at all, working on yeah. this, working on this tune. He brought it to me, and, and it's like uh, a couple days past my surgery, and he's like, "I have this," and I'm like, "Hey!" <laughs> and the uh, in German, we're going to sing it in English, right? English and German. Uh, we are okay. Oh. And, and in German, uh, the lyrics uh, go something like, uh, "If I could wish for anything, I would wish to be a little bit happy. For if I were too happy," I would long for sadness. Such a true song. <laughs> that is so Marlene, isn't it? <laughs> so again, just turn
did not have a place whether we wanted to or change your little night. Now I go alone through the giant city streets and I do not know no if she loves me. I look in the rooms through the door and window glass and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for something that is near but for All right, Dustin's another breakfast cabaret. Ina, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, wait, we have an announcement. We have an announcement. We have an announcement. Say what? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, come on up. Push up. Do you have another announcement? Okay, announcements. No, wait, wait, Bill. Do you really have an announcement? Okay, make it short, Bill. Okay. All right. I just want to tell you that my 50 cookie bought me a Christmas law ticket. I want a ten dollars. But if I take the ten dollars, I make it a lot more work than five hours a day. And I probably mean that I did work hard. And this week, the two weeks, two weeks of pay, I go back. I get a board check in the holiday season, and guess what? I want to make a quarter million dollars. A quarter million, and I'm paying for all these people to put it in. I'm going to pay it's two, two weeks to the two weeks to holidays. The guy said, told me to build a very party. I'm going to fuck this and fuck this. I did it. I did it for myself, and I work hard, hard worker, and guess what? Next month the holidays, I come on track and award. I want to say thank you to the people here. And he did a good job to pull in. This guy that's in the blue, this guy I like. Right. My famous guy. My only one friend. Thank you. It's all holidays. Merry Christmas and happy Thanksgiving. A good day and good night.
going to take off. <laughs> We're taking off next week. It's almost inevitable. So we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> 